Hey everybody, this is Ty Tribbett and you are watching Gospel Access with your host, Tracy Gale. Kick it lot. I am here with Grammy Award winner Ty Tribbett. Last time I talked to you, you were praying for a Grammy. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> right now, God is using Ty to bless the hearts and the minds of his people. I have a question for you. Uh, what can you say to our viewers as far as encouraging them to stir up their gifts and to go in the direction that God has chosen for them to go? Yeah, I think that's the key, going in the direction that God has caused them to be. We're in such a uh, social media frenzy society that everybody's trying to be the next and the next and the next. And very few people are hearing or, or listening to what God is telling them to do. Do what God has told you to do. It's kind of like when he called Moses, he said, go tell Pharaoh, let my people go. If Moses was results driven, <laughs> he would have been discouraged when Pharaoh didn't let his people go. So it's not about the results, it's not about the sales, it's not about how many people follow you. It's about I'm doing what he said. Whether I get the response or not, I'm content because I'm doing what he said. So just follow his voice. Amen. Now, Amen. no one... Amen. I'm, 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 <laughs> With your success, you have uh, probably encountered obstacles and haters and adversity. So let's talk about how you have uh, the best way you've overcome obstacles. Uh, it's the same thing. And you got to uh, uh, know what God said, period, is, is your anchor when obstacles come or haters or whatever. Also, um, having a crew, having a crew of accountability, having supporters, having people who, who can undergird the vision of God. It's kind of like Joseph. He had a dream that, yo, my brothers are going to serve me. They're going to be under me. And then immediately after that, the opposite happened. They threw him in the pit, and he was looking. He was under them. But in those moments, you got to still hold on to what, what God has said. And I think sometimes that's all you have. You know what I mean? So it's not really about support or the, the uh, what's it called? The, uh, the the outward affirmation that it's still. You don't always have that. Sometimes you just have the, you know what I mean? The word of God and just stand on it. I think our, our generation don't have that. We want the ingredients, we want the, the method and the strategy, but we don't want his hand or his voice. And it's just not working. So it might sound old school, but hold on to God. <laughs> Let's talk about walking by faith. Walking by faith. Uh, uh, I think of Peter. He's walking on the water. Here he is on the boat. And he said, if it's you, tell me to come. And uh, number one, he left. It wasn't that the, the, the disciples on the boat was bad company, but God called him to something different. He's walking on the water. And this is what I love about walking by faith. The storm never stopped. The Bible never recorded that that typhoon stopped or even slowed down. But when you walk by faith, it doesn't mean the problems will stop. But as long as Christ is my focus, I can walk on water. I heard my mentor say, where the focus goes, the power flows. In other words, whatever I focus on, I withdraw from the power of that thing. So when I'm focusing on Christ, I withdraw from his power. When I focus on the storm, I start sinking. 